In today's tutorial, we're going to model uh, one conceptual project. Uh, actually, we're going to model just this front facade of this uh, of this uh, project. I wanted to show you how uh, we can utilize these plants in Grasshopper to create this kind of uh, wavy effect on a facade. And uh, there was a couple of tutorials back that I did on a similar topic, but I just wanted to refresh it and give you some some new insight. Uh, the project is in conceptual stage. I actually found it on Instagram uh, and visualization was done by Omega Render and uh, I couldn't find actually who was uh, the initial architect of the project but uh, we're going to start and we're going to try to get this facade as close as possible and then uh, I will show you how you can actually create uh, these openings and how we in grasshopper we can actually create these kind of divisions so let's get started so first thing i will uh, start uh, here from the top and uh, this project is going to be since it's conceptual I'm, i don't have any drawings so i'll just try to estimate uh, from the top view how this uh, facade is going to be uh, looking so uh, we know that in the middle there is some kind of uh, uh opening here so i'll try to recreate that opening and as we as we go uh to the end it will actually become more stable so something like this so i'm actually actually drawing uh how this will look from the top view and of course uh this is probably not not exactly correct but uh, we're going to try to do it as close as possible to the actual to the actual design I can actually delete this one, I don't need, and I don't need this one as well. So let's say that it's something like this. And now I'm gonna do the top one as well. So I'll just try to follow the curvature uh, as much as I can. Um, and let's let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so let's join these two and let's take out these seams here uh, and let's say that uh, this is something that we can work with uh, again uh, I'm not going to try to recreate exactly the same design I'll ju I just want to show you the, co the concept and how you can actually build this uh, and which tools you can use to create something similar so uh, this would be that that front facade and now what we're gonna do we're gonna actually uh, Try to imitate the front. So I'm gonna go to the front here and uh, Let's also try to draw some some reference lines here so that we know that um, How this like wavy form would, would behave so we can actually try to estimate here the waves and let's say something like this and then on the bottom we're gonna also do something similar let's create this big grand opening and let's slightly modify it here so i'm looking at this image i'm trying to recreate this this front view with these lines and uh once i'm happy with this let's say that this is enough so this is the front here and this is going to be also the top so now at this point i want to start using the spline surface and i want to create basically uh, let's go to the side view and let's create a surface simple surface like this and uh, basically what I'm going to do here, I'm going to enter T-spine mode and let's take these edges and let's extrude everything like this a couple of times until we get the whole structure here. I'm pressing X on my keyboard to do the extrusion. That's my shortcut. You can actually create your own if you wish. So uh, let's see. So that would be, for example, that initial stage 
of what you want to do and I will basically uh, go in the control points I'll select everything and I'll remove creases because we don't need them uh, I'll try to, to play around with these guys and I'll try to get as close as possible to the actual design Okay, so we did uh, we did the top uh, as close as possible. Uh, now we're going to, now we're going to do the same thing to the bottom, and then uh, we will create uh, the same thing for the front and the top, and then we'll continue from there. All right, so once we have this surface, I want to finish with uh, the creation of this surface. And once we actually got, uh, got the, the elevation uh, ready as well, uh, the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna actually uh, convert this surface to the, to the Rhino surface. Before that, let's uh, copy it in place and let's put it in some other layer so that we have it in case we need it for something else. And uh, now I'm gonna actually convert it here to Rhino surface and let's do the offset here. Let's do for example distance of maybe 0 0.3 and that should be I think fine. Yeah, that's all right. We'll use this surface uh, later on. Uh, and uh, one last thing we can do here, uh, we can actually uh, take this bottom edge. We can say a duplicate edge and we can uh, use offset curve on surface. And let's do this curve and let's select the surface and we're gonna say offset distance of 0 0.1. And we have this edge here, that would be our edge 0 0.1. And now we're gonna select split and then we're going to split the surface with uh, with this edge that we just did. So now we have this bottom edge in case we want to keep it because I will now start to divide this surface. So I'm gonna go to Grasshopper now. Now let's see what we can do to divide the surface. So I'm gonna select it. Let's type surface here and let's apply it. And let's use divide domain with ice trim uh, to, to create the surface. The domain should go here. UV will say let's say 100 and here we'll say just one and let's see what we get. Uh, so we need a division in a different uh, direction so we're gonna say 100 goes one goes here and 100 goes here and that should be all right and now we just need to increase this uh, because this is too too big, so let's see 500. Let's see if this changes. Yeah. Okay. So that that should be all right. And let's do maybe maybe 500 and 600, for example. I think that should be enough. Okay. So we have the division of the surface now here, and we want to actually here just take, for example, every second one. So how do we do this? Uh, the easiest way to do it is by uh, using a uh, cull pattern and we're gonna say for example and let's use toggle let's use boolean toggle and let's create let's create a couple of these for example false 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 true I think should be fine and let's use the merge component to get all these guys in 
Let's put this in the pattern and let's see the result. So this would be our result. And now it's the question if we want like this or we want maybe without this guy, just like true false. Let's say true false is fine. And now let's do the big component. And let's put it on the new layer. And there it is. We have this surface. And that's what we wanted. And let's see what we can do next. So now we have actually, uh, we have the, the we have the surface, which we don't need anymore. We can actually hide it here. And we have these guys, which are going to be our front, uh, front facade uh, elements. And the last thing here that we can do, we can actually give it some thickness. So for example, this is this one surface that we had and we can do, for example, offset surface and we can flip it and let's go, let's go on the outside and let's do solid this time. And this will give us some thickness and we can do the same thing for all of these guys. And this way we'll have, uh, we'll have some initial, uh, geometry here like this. So that would be the creation of this uh, facade. Let's hide the curves. And basically uh, why we needed this back surface is to give us some, uh, uh, some back background to what this project would look like, like this, if you can see. So, so that you can better see the facade this way. So that should be it. I uh, hope that you liked the video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. <clears throat> and as always, if you're the first time here, make sure to subscribe and make sure to put the notification bell uh, button on. And this way you will not miss any of the future tutorials. So until the next time, take care and see you soon.